You don't need all these energy drinks. You don't need it, energy drinks. You pray in tongues. I promise you, pray in tongues. Go past 10 minutes. Sometimes we quit after 5 minutes, you know. They say, well, nothing happened. No. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Go about 10 minutes. Before you know it, you feel energized. I promise you that. You know, it works. It works. Now, the Bible says that you might have life and have it what? More abundantly. And that comes from the Greek word periosos. Okay? Periosos, not perwisho. You know, that's something else, huh? Periosos, to be above, beyond what is regular, to be extraordinary and exceeding. This is not just abundance, this is superabundance. See, so he says, I'm not just going to give you life. I'm not just going to bless you. I'm going to super bless you. I'm not just going to make you rich. I'll make you super rich. I'm not just going to give you joy. I'll make you delirious with joy. See, that's his will. And then we say, well, you know, Siguro, this sickness is a blessing in disguise. Nonsense. There is no blessing in sickness. Get that into your head. Get the lie out of your head that anyway God is teaching me something. So, okay na rin to. Of course not. God doesn't have to get you sick or wait for you to get sick to teach you. He gave you His Word. That's where you learn. Not from sickness. You don't need to be sick to learn. You don't need to be sick to change direction in your life. All you need is Christ. That's who you need. It's not what you need. It's who you need. And he says, I'll give it to you in abundance, in super abundance. You need joy? You need about five kilos of joy? Here's one ton. See? That's how he gives. Press down, shaking together, running over. Malachi 3 says, until there is no more room. You want to pay your electric bill? How much is it? 5,000? Here's 5 million. Keep the change. So you'll never have to worry about your electric bill for the next 63 years. See, that's how God works. He never steals. He never kills. He never destroys. He never takes from you. No, that's a lie of the devil. God is a giver. The Bible says, my Bible says, for God so loved the world that He gave. Love always gives. And when you're tired giving, if you still love, you will still give some more. That's why if you love your spouse, you will give forgiveness. <laughs> you will forgive and forgive and forgive and then forgive again some more. How much will you forgive? Super abundantly. But pastor, you don't know what he did to me. I don't care if I know or not. That doesn't change the fact that you forgive in super abundance. How many times? Oh, just 70 times, 7 times a day. 490 times a day. In other words, you don't stop. You don't stop. And the next day, you reset the counter back to zero. You don't carry over. This is not accounting. Okay, when you can accrue. You can't accrue. Every day, you reset to zero. Just when they're reaching, you know, 489. Isa na lang, patay ka sa akin. Big lang na 1201. Reset, back to zero. See? That's how it is. Why? Because husband and wife reflect Christ and the church. And Christ will never stop forgiving because He already forgave you in Christ. Amen? Amen. So it's a super abundance forgiveness. He will never run out of grace. He will never run out of love. He will never run out of patience with you. He loves you so much and we know that love is patient. He's so patient with us, even when we blow it, several times a day, he still says, it's okay, son, I love you. Don't worry about it. Get up, let's move on from here. Let me show you what you did wrong, then let's move on. So we learn. But even when he teaches you, there is no condemnation. See, that's the nice thing about God. Amen? It's the nice thing about God. Now, here's the thing. If all this is true, that it's the devil that gives the bad things and God gives the good things, then my, why is my life still like this? Why am I not yet healthy? Why am I not yet rich? Why am I not yet married? Being single is not a curse. Right? Medyo nahirapan yung mga single mag-amen doon. 
Uh, pastor, I don't know if I want to say amen to that, you know? Baka humaba eh. <laughs> See, the thing is this. <laughs> Look, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. If, if this is all true, then why am I still like this? Why am I still suffering here or there? Maybe not as bad as before, but I still am. Why is my life not in super abundance mode? Why am I still just getting by mode? When am I going to get into that super abundance? When am I going to get my financial breakthrough, my health breakthrough, my joy breakthrough, you know, my peace breakthrough? When am I going to get all that? When is my husband going to start loving me again? When is my wife going to be cooking for me and not burnt offerings, you know, but cooking for me, good food and all that stuff? When, when are all these going to happen? If this is all true, why is it not happening to me? It's a good question. It's a good question. And here's my answer. Once you believe that the gospel is the power of God to salvation, to those who believe, you will start seeing it. Our biggest problem is unbelief. That's our biggest problem. Not the devil. The devil is nothing. The devil is defeated. The devil can't do squat in your life when you start believing. For so long as you believe a lie, you give the devil authority to do what he does best. Steal, kill, and destroy. But the moment you get into the word and you say, hey, I like this, I like this verse, you know, whatever it might be, my God will supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know? He himself bore our iniquities and took up our transgressions so that by his stripes I am healed. I like this verse. Now start meditating in it until you believe it. Once you believe it, the lies of the devil start to lose their grip on you. Because all the blessings of Christ are already yes. It's not that He will give it to you. He has given it to you. When? When you came into Christ. He gave it to you, but why isn't it manifesting? Because there's still some things that need to change up here. We call it the renewal of the mind. You want to use a Bible word? We call it sanctification. See? Yes. If somebody curses you, what must happen? Don't worry about it. If you're in Christ, curse cannot touch you. If people curse you, it doesn't matter. Cannot touch you. They cannot touch you. Huh? What's that? They have the problem. I said, Babalike. See? You are uncursable. See? You are undiscourageable. You are unsickable. <laughs> can't touch you. The Bible says, A curse without a caution, not a light, it shall return whence it came. In other words, if you are if you are, uh, what do you call this, protected by God, if God be for me, who will dare come against me? Right? That's what the Bible says. If God be for you, who will dare come against you? He put a hedge of protection around you. He gave angels charge over you. Sickness and disease shall not come near my dwelling place. A thousand may fall on my side, ten thousand on my right side, but the sicknesses and diseases of Egypt shall not come near my dwelling place. You got to know that. So when sickness comes knocking your door and you open, oops, you're not welcome here. Shut the door in his face. Don't say, ah, it's raining. Okay, you can come in. <laughs> See, of course not. But you got to know the word. You got to take your stand and say, devil, enough. Hanggang dyan ka lang. You can't touch my family. My wife is protected. My children are protected. My parents are protected. My business, my vehicles, my, my house, my, my, my dogs, my goldfish. Can't touch anything. See? And then here's, here, pa. The Bible says, remember what we saw last week in Psalm 1 3. He will prosper whatever you do. You can't help it, church. You are prosperous. Can't help it. Kaya, next time you look at the mirror, you say, Alamo? I envy you. You know? That, that, you, you, you need to believe that. It starts there. You can't say to yourself, say it in the mirror. Don't say I, say you. But make sure you're looking at yourself. 